Of the more than 5,000 known species of mammals throughout the world, you have to look long and hard to find a more alien looking creature than the giant anteater. These guys are positively prehistoric in, in look here, in appearance. They've got this elongate skull, more than a foot in length. That skull houses an incredibly long tongue that attaches at the animal's sternum, way down in his chest. So what the animal will do is use that skull to probe roughly one foot into an anthill or a termite mouth. The eyes and the ears are located far back on the skull. So when the bites and stings come their way, this animal is well protected and can withdraw as needed. But what's more, that tongue is more than two feet long. So it'll extend two feet or so from the animal's snout, giving this animal an effective reach into the den, into the colony of its prey of up to three feet. So how does it do it? Well, the animal doesn't have any teeth. So how does it mash up that prey? It's got very powerful stomach acids and incredibly syrupy, thick saliva that latch onto those animals, small invertebrate prey, they're stuck onto that tongue, draws it into the mouth, and the anteater will gulp them down. And not just a few, we're talking up to 35,000 ants or termites in a day. And what's more, you'd think that an animal without any teeth couldn't defend itself. But think again. The giant anteater has some weapons up its sleeve, so to speak. Four and a half inch long recurve claws. Four and a half inches long along the curve here, the anteater will walk on its knuckles throughout its territory, keeping these claws long and strong and sharp when they're needed. What they'll do is open up the anthills or termite mounds to access their prey, but they also will rear up on their hind legs and grab, rip, or slash to attack their potential predators, which include jaguar and puma. So for an animal without teeth, these guys are far from defenseless. When the anteater makes its round throughout its entire territory, by the time it comes back to the anthill or termite mound where it fed, the insects will have rebuilt that colony. So the anteater has zero net effect on its prey, and lessen its sustainability courtesy of the giant anteater.